Uterine sound. Uterine sound is a long metal tube with a smooth angle or a curve. The top end of the uterine sound is blunt and has a special name. It is called an olive tip. The tube is calibrated and has markings from 4 cm to 30 cm. Uses of a uterine sound. A uterine sound can be used to measure the uterocervical length because it has calibrations. The main function of a uterine sound, as its name suggests, is sounding. Sounding is a process by which we determine the position or the direction of the uterus and see if it is antiverted or retroverted. Uterine sounding is done before doing procedures like dilatation and curettage and insertion of an intrauterine contraceptive device. Since we insert the uterine sound before doing any procedures, it is the first dilator of the cervix. Thus, another function of the uterine sound is dilatation of the cervical os. Uterine sound can be used to determine the position of a misplaced IUCD. We insert a uterine sound and then take an X-ray to locate the misplaced IUCD. It is also used to detect any uterine anomalies like a septum. The most important advantage of a uterine sound is its peculiar olive tip that is rounded and makes it blunt to prevent perforation. Don't get confused between a uterine sound and a bladder sound which looks alike. Both are angulated, but the uterine sound has a pronounced curve and a bladder sound has a general curve. The uterine sound is calibrated, whereas the bladder sound has no calibrations on it. If you get a uterine sound for your viva and you have mentioned that it is used to measure the uterocervical length, the examiner might ask you what is the normal uterocervical length. The normal uterocervical length is 2.5 inch or 6 to 8 centimeter. Then comes the next question. What are the conditions under which uterocervical length is increased? Uterocervical length is increased in congenital elongation of cervix during pregnancy and in case of perforation. And what are the conditions in which the uterocervical length is shortened? It is shortened in case of amputation of cervix and post hysterectomy. Another question that can be asked is what is the normal position or the direction of the uterus? The normal position of uterus is antiversion. Thank you.